day. I'm having a pretty good day myself. We are back basically where we left off. I did a little bit of off-camera work. Just huh. making my not quite permanent base, oh. um, but a starter house, if you will. Um, and it's coming along pretty nicely. You you know I've got my iron iron helmet, chest plate with leg leather leggings and boots. I also forgot to mention these have depth strength three. So yeah, I've got some really fast underwater based boots. I've got a furnace, blast furnace, bed, a cauldron, because I set up shop right next to a leather worker, in case you don't know. This is 1.16 that I'm playing in right now, so um, 1.14 villages are out. Okay, so I got cauldron, got bed, crafting table, and then some basic necessities, including a tools chest, which is pretty useful. So today, I think we're just going to be doing some basic work to j just to kind of continue where we left off try to get some iron maybe diamonds hopefully i've got an iron pickaxe now um, i've also got a farm a, a proper farm started so I'm growing sugar cane and i'm growing these i can't remember where was it these things would be able to pop out of the guys now nope okay so it's not yet but i think i'm gonna start i'm gonna do some mining so that i can you know, just get some simple um, resources like diamonds and so forth. Uh, I do have a stash of sweet berries, which will come in handy. Um, and I did get some lapis and so forth. So, kind of normal time. But, I also started a mine. Now, if you know me, I... Well, if you probably don't know how I mine, but... I don't have stairs in yet. That's because I don't need stairs yet. It's not until a little bit later where we actually are going to need stairs. Uh, because right now, it's most of the time, mining's just going to be done off camera. So, where am I? Sea counter's at. Sea counter's at. Okay, so. If you guys don't know, sea counter is about. Is basically the amount of blocks that. About of like. Not blocks there, I guess. Uh, I forget what the exact one was. But basically, it's the amount of empty space. Essentially, sea counters go up when you find a cave or a ravine or of some sort, and then it just goes basically dead when you're strip mining, unless you end up going to those. So, it has been I it has been said before that the recommended Y level to get diamonds and other precious ores and so forth is at Y11. I am going down to Y11 just for that reason, because I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to take their word for it and test it out. What happens here? Is this getting lower? No. No, okay. I thought it was getting lower. So I'm currently at Y57, so I've got a little bit of ways to go. Um, yeah, so if it's going down to Y11, I'm at 57, I'm actually right now at 56, I should be, let's see here, if I do some quick math, I have to dig another 5, 45 blocks, and I'm doing this diagonally because I'm not digging straight down, number one rule of Minecraft, by the way, never dig straight down, because you don't know Okay, fair enough. And yes, this is survival, which means I do not have all the capabilities to create a mode. It is currently nighttime. But you know what? When you're mining, you get to do it at nighttime. Um, and I know the song, Don't Mine at Night. I am more than familiar with it. Okay. I also have a half broken shovel because my budget is doesn't accommodate for a shovel entirely. Um and so I'm just gonna go down to Y eleven real quick and I will be back with you in just a little bit. Also I will hopefully not die. That is a big thing and if I do die I'll probably tell you 
then. So, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright guys, I am back, and it seems that we have dug into a cave system. Um, it only got Y 43-ish. Uh, oh, this is a... This is an extensive cave. Wow. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, zombies are coming. They aren't really So... We're just gonna let those guys do their thing, and I'm gonna mine this coal, because I am, believe it or not, might need to get some coal. I need, I need torches. Uh, I didn't bring any wood on me, so I, I have to go back up. Okay, hold on. There we go. We'll put him on the side. Okay, hit the zombie. Give me a minute. I am just mining some coal. Um, I know coal, finding coal, not the biggest of deals, but you gotta realize it's good. It's good levels, if nothing else. Um, and it's used for torches, and I do need torches for mining purposes, obviously. Wow. I wish I had the plugin where you could just do super mining, or if I just had the. Uh, I right, just had like some sort of super pickaxe. Okay. Wow. Lots of coal. Holy crap, that is quite the extensive vein. Okay, I think it's finally finished up there. And down here is nothing. I'm gonna light this up. And now I'm probably gonna need a new pickaxe, so. One minute. Um, Alright, so the problem is with mines like this is that um, I don't have a stair, so I can't just run up the stairs at like lightning speed. I, so yeah, this is kind of like a, um... Oh, wait, I don't need to do that. Okay, hold on. Now, I don't have a huge supply of... Uh, I forgot the sticks. Give me those sticks. I'm actually just gonna do that. Because I can, and I also need... Cool, actually, I don't need to bring those. I do need to bring this. And I'm going to finish off this. Let's have some more sticks. Let's get... It's like that amount. Yeah, there we go. If they're pretty sure there might be something up there. Well, let's go down again. And continue mining. Um, and I... Now, obviously... Now, just as a quick thing, I love andesite if you're going to be uh, doing, like, cave work. If you're going to be, like, making a custom cave or something like that. But in any other cases, it's... Wow. Last several worlds have been literally cute. There's a cave nearby. Hey, where's my sea cats are at? Holy crap, sea cutters at like. Wow, this is a huge cave. I think this might be one of the best options for getting a massive cave system. This is beautiful. And oh my goodness. This is a wraparound. So the problem with these giant caves is that while they give you great loot and stuff like that, or, or not great loot, rather they give you a huge amount of ores, it's not always that they're the best because you have so much to- Another portion of the cave. Why am I not surprised? This is, I think this could become my base. Legitimately, this could become a base. This thing is so big. Okay. Go eat. 
top. And I know this isn't the most exciting, like, oh, cave. Oh my god, though. I mean, caves in of themselves are not phenomenal, but this is ridiculous. This is the biggest, one of the biggest cave systems I have ever seen. If you guys don't know, I have had several worlds where the caves just go on for miles. It's ridiculous. This thing leads to another cave? I love it. Okay. Oh, this just links up. Okay, fair enough. Let's make as many torches as we can. Should do. And we have some wood left, so if, if need be... Hold on. Now, I know torches have technically downgraded in a sense. They used to be better and stuff like that, but that's fine. But, okay, so I also have the um, NBT thing up, so that means I can see what the uh, durability is. This thing is about to break. But luckily, I've got some more iron. One more. Two durability left. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do some more caving here. Um, hopefully find some more diamonds and stuff like that. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright, everyone, I am back, and this, we found an enderman. I think you know what we're going to do. Let's hope that this actually works. Okay. 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 He's literally running in circles. Wow, they actually do quite a bit of damage. Oh, I forgot. Oh. And nothing. Brilliant. Wow. This is a huge cave system. This is absolutely massive. Okay, then. Well, I'll be down here for a while, so let me get back to you, hopefully, when I find, finally finish looking through this cave. Alright guys, I am back. We are looking through this. I'm actually just backtracking because I found some iron here. And I need iron because I don't have a lot of iron to actually have quite a bit. I also got some gold between uh, between um, clips. Um, and I think I found something. found something that I think is interesting in the sense that I haven't found this since the beginning. Um... Okay, in all honesty, it's been a little bit, but look at all this coal. Why is there so much coal? But, I think that's a spawner. And, oh no. Bam. Okay, move back. What's it here? Light up. We are not going to be getting rid of this. And what's in here? Golden apple. Let's go. And a bucket. Uh, I'll take everything in here except for the rotten flesh. Uh, you know, I'm just going to take the whole thing. Cool. So now I essentially have a zombie grinder. I've also got some gold along the way in case I didn't 
to specify it. Oh my. This is... By definition, I don't know if this is the smallest cave ever. This can't be. I mean, what's my sea counter at? Sea counter's at a thousand? Holy crap, hola. This is probably the biggest cave I have ever found. And I found redstone over here, which... Okay, that is the best find, but I want to do some redstone later on. Uh, let's plug up this hole. This thing is kind of in the way. Cool! So, let me just continue looking throughout this cave. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll notify you when I find something interesting, or when I get... Finally, just get to the end of this huge cave. I mean, this is stupidly huge. So, let me get... I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright, guys. I am back, and I'm just in spectator mode real quick. Just to show you how massive this cave system is. This is, by definition, the biggest... Cave. Look at this! I have all this that I haven't even discovered. And it just leads everywhere. I mean, I'm not trying to cheat or anything. I'm just trying to show you the extent is real. Oh, flex spike. Okay, let's go back down here. And I'm just currently getting... Um, I, I, I was just in spectator real quick. Just to show you how the extent of this cave is unfathomably huge. Lava is everywhere. Uh, but anyways, let me just continue on my mining expedition. I'll hopefully find diamonds as I said before. And I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright guys, I am back and I think that's a about it I'm going to do with mining. That cave down there is huge. Absolutely huge. And I actually got, as I said before, got a golden apple. Got myself a chest so I can just wham that up there. Got a bow. And I've got all the iron and so forth to uh, hit to uh, break to do my heart's content. Which I guess is cool. Um, let us smelt that. Mm, that in there. I'm trying to get my hands on hopefully a sm um, smoker suit. That's why I have this space empty. I could legitimately turn that into my base. That no joke. That thing is huge. Absolutely massive. Uh, I need my iron back so I can then do the smart thing and. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You can't just put it in a simple block area. Ugh. Um, but yeah, um, that's probably going to do it for me. I'm just a shorter day of just mining um, and only cheating for the purposes of you viewers so that I can show you how what I'm dealing with right here because that thing is absolutely massive. I can only imagine what people feel like when they're down in like those kinds of caves. They're just like, Ugh. you spend all that time. Come on, I always forget. We got ourselves more sugar cane, though. So, hey, it's all good. But yeah, I think that's about to that's that's gonna wrap it up for me. So, if you enjoyed this video. Def definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hope you en had enjoyed the enjoyed the video. And if and you are enjoying the series, please do do click that like button. It really does help out my my channel. Um, also leave a comment. What should I be? What what are what should my my plans be? Like, should I wall this village off? Should I get more, better? Redstone. I mean, should what should I do? Um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, like, do you guys have any ideas for what I could do? With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next one.